For the past five years, I've been toying with the idea of creating my own collection. I've collaborated on designs with Gemporia before, but I wanted something to really put my name behind, you know, my own designs of jewellery, utilising my own stones. Uh, and for me to do that, I wanted something that was truly rare, something we'd never seen before, novel, unique, and uh, nothing had really uh, satisfied that craving. Um, and then I saw uh, the auction results for a piece of jewellery that blew me away. It was a piece uh, by Tiffany & Co. It was a, an estate piece of jewellery that featured the Sanger shell, the incredible Queen Conch shell and the Queen Conch pearl. It sold for in excess of 600,000 US dollars and it sent me on a wild goose chase of trying to understand why we never see this material in high jewellery. We never see it um, in the world of any jewellery collections. And the reason is to find that quality the true mature Queen Kong gem grade is almost impossible. They seldom exist in the marketplace. Uh, they either go to Idar Oberstein or indeed uh, the Far East and we don't get the consistency needed to create collections. So for the past four years behind the scenes uh, and traveling the world to some far-flung places I've tried to find the stones to be able to create this collection. This is the, the first ever showcase uh, that will bear my name, David Harry Jewels. It is the first time we've ever seen this stone. I think it's the first time a collection, and I've spoke with many people in the industry. I spoke with uh, many people that work on behalf of big name designers. I spoke to the guy who works with David Yeoman. To our knowledge, I don't believe a single collection of this jewelry has ever been put together. There have been the occasional single pieces, and we wanted to bring this exclusively to Gemporia. Um, now I'd love for you guys to join me on part of the adventure that we went on to put together this collection. So for generations now on the island, my family has been known for diving and getting the conch shells and stuff like that. And most of them are after the conch pearls. But every fisherman has their story being on the water and stuff like that. But very few has had the opportunity to find a mature queen conch. And that's what makes it so valuable right now. We're here in the heart of the Caribbean in search of the, the, the legend or the myth that is the Queen Kong. Um, and, and right now I'm kind of standing right in the middle of the world's first and only conch farm. This is a place where, due to the overfishing for conch meat, which is something that the Caribbean is kind of turning away from and trying to extract the value from solely the conch pearl, which is some $10,000 per carat, and indeed the conch shell, which is rarer still. Um, we're here in this incredible farm which is doing such important work, you know, raising thousands, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of conch through to maturity. However, in 2015, a succession of hurricanes completely destroyed uh, these sea pens. They were completely compromised and as a result, uh, you know, the, the natural predators such as nurse sharks, cowfish and eagle rays were able to come in uh, and feast on the remaining population of Queen Conch. Uh, a project that was incredibly well received around the world has unfortunately disappeared uh, and shows no signs of, of getting back to its former glory. It, it lies here as a relic, completely deserted, and all that's left and remains now are the discarded shells of the destroyed Queen Kong. It really is a shame that something as important as this, which was going to help uh, bring this incredible uh, shell to the rest of the world, has now fallen by the wayside and it serves to make this uh, incredible Queen Kong extraordinarily rare. And as such, we've seen the price go through the roof. Some people are saying it's gone uh, up by five to 10,000% since the hurricanes ripped through this area. For a fully mature Queen Kong now, it's just about as valuable as a gemstone as you can find.
So guys, I'm going to explain to you why this is the, the, the rarest gemstone on earth. You know, this is literally the closest I'll ever come to finding, you know, treasure buried beneath the waves. Um, most conch, and um, we've just pulled this from the ruins of the conch farm, most conch shells, you know, max out at about this size. This is either because they're dragged from the ocean to be eaten as a delicacy, they're attacked by a, a number of predators, nurse sharks, cowfish, or indeed eagle rays. Remember, it's a slow moving uh, mollusk. And as you can see at this size, they've got, they're extremely brittle, just breaks off, and, and they've got no coloration. Zero coloration. The, uh, this size will still be able to produce a conch pearl, which is what they're indeed looking for. And then you, you get, and I mean, this is still three, four years old. Then, if you get something of this size, now this is special. This is, you know, has that beautiful pink coloration, still very brittle. Um, this may produce that incredible conch pearl, still be eaten as a delicacy around the world, like caviar, but this is not gem grade. And this is like eight years old. And I know that because you kind of count the horns. Um, as Beverly, a local tortoise, as well as uh, Captain Rico, whose family have been involved in comp for a long time. So this is about eight years old. It's taken eight years to get to this age, still a one in a million shot. And you're starting to get that pink coloration, but this will not be snapped up by the Chinese market. This will not be snapped up by the carvers and Idar Oberstein, because this still is too brittle to be able to produce um, those wonderful cameos or those intricate carvings. It is not durable at this age. Now, for the, 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 um, the gold at the end of the rainbow as it was, the, the, the buried treasure that we discovered in the shallows of the Caribbean. And this is where, you know, the Queen Kong deserves its royal status. This is 12 to 14 years old. Again, you can count the horns as they go up through to the, the final horn. So it's about 14 years old. This is impossible. I mean, there, there may not be another one in the shallows here for miles and miles and miles and to find one is almost impossible as well and as we flip this round you get to see that wonderful pink color it extends all the way to the lip this so thick as you can see it's like porcelain it's extremely durable this is what the carvers the high jewelry stores around the world are interested in this is when it maxes out its its potential value and this is probably the rarest organic gemstone in the world. You can't farm this, you can't culture this. And again, it takes 14 years to get to this point and it's got to avoid fishing, it's got to avoid the, the nurse sharks in the area, the eagle rays, the sea turtles, and of course the cowfish. They say this is a one in two million find. And this is what we need to create the Queen Kong collection.